All right, and welcome back to another adventure. So we've made our way up the slopes and we are at the Acropolis. Right behind me is the Parthenon. I mean, absolutely amazing. So this place is really historic, really old. I mean, you know, this is where democracy started, science, arts, just the civilization as we know it in 2023. So we're gonna walk around, check it out a little bit and see what sights the Acropolis beholds. So come along guys, should go for a pretty good day. But as you can see, the crowds are real here and just gonna make our way and see what's up. See all these stone works here, stuff that didn't get to be put into place or perhaps leftovers. And I mean, the views here are absolutely stunning. So come over here and show you the city of Athens. So here it is, Athens and all its beauty. And I mean, it's kind of right in the valley, mountains surrounding. Amazing. Just great, great views from up here. The whole Acropolis system. Ooh, very nice. So, tickets here, 10 euros. Um, you could have also gone on ahead and got a combined ticket to see seven different archaeological sites here in Athens for 30 euros. So, pretty good deal. Not too expensive. I mean, you know, to come somewhere that was made in the 5th, 5th century BC. Absolutely stunning. Here's the views from the other side. Look at that sprawling city. This is the Erectatheon. Little theater here at the Acropolis. And the Acropolis is the name of the whole complex with different things up inside. Look at that. Wow. A lot of construction going on around here, but still very beautiful. Wow. You can see the terrain here, you know, just a lot of natural rock formations surrounding this area. Plenty of things to use as materials to build around here. And I mean, you know, Athens has just been a really classical little stop here on my trip and I've enjoyed it a lot so much. Um, had a little private breakfast this morning at the Acropoli restaurant. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful city and culture. Wow. Show yourself, Athens. Woo. That is a sprawl. You know, right here on the other side of the Parthenon, which is a temple of the Dionysian period. And like I mentioned before, a lot of these places, there's no need for a tour guide. You have all your information here in Greek, as well as English. So if you want to read up on the history of it and don't feel like searching on Google, you can just show up and do it yourself. Um, it provides you a little map on the way in so you can get around, but I mean, it's pretty much one way there, one way back. So don't need much of that. Like I said, 10 euros for this view, all day long. You can see the crane in there, restoring a little bit. Really wish you could have walked up in there. That would have been nice. And it's, this is on the Europe Historic World site. It's an archaeological wonder. Just gorgeous Parthenon. Whew. And as mentioned, you know, plenty of information telling you about the restoration. Began in 1983. <laughs> wow, it's 40 years ago. I guess when something's 4,000 years old, you know, it takes a little bit of time to restore it. <laughs> this was that first building we saw. Got some beautiful statue work outside. I mean, I'm just so amazed that all these statues can survive throughout the millennia and we can't even build cars that last more than five years. <laughs> Crazy. Crowds are real, as you can see. But, you know, it's off season. Can only imagine in the hot time what it's looking like here. 
This is the remnants of the old Temple of Athena here. Not much is remaining. <laughs> Wish I knew Greek. Sounds like a fun language to sit and converse with <laughs> at breakfast. I had a lot of, a couple of groups of older people sitting there. You know how they do. In America, it's Waffle House here. It's little cafes on the sidewalk. So just fun listening to them laugh, talk, joke. Just good times here in Greece so far. <laughs> Man, just look at all this extra building material. Crazy. Remnants of the sanctuary of Artemis here. One of the many buildings here on the Acropolis that has not survived the test of time. Cool. And that was the main part of the Acropolis. So we're going to make our way back down. They have a gorgeous theater that we can film a little bit and we'll film some more of the slopes coming up. So let's go together. And this was the entrance to get into the Acropolis. These are the gates. Amazing. You know, in typical Jason fashion, we will molest the Acropolis. Ooh, a little touch. Very nice. Very nice. It's all marble here. And shout out to Stellanos again, my Uber driver. He was telling me about the marble here and how natural marble is yellow. It gives off the appearance of gold. So thank you, Stellanos. Taught me a little something before I ever even hit the Acropolis. Making our way down the slopes now. I mean, just look, like I said, don't have to go far to quarry the materials here for this building, just right across the way. I'd like to climb up on that rock cropping. Pretty cool. If you have available in the afternoon, we can make it for Pretty cool. And there it is. Sweet. No problem. Send me, send me invitation. See the lions, now? statues. Hmm. Let's say two o'clock or three. More of the use of marbling here. Staircase, full marble. Wow. Let's head on down. See what's up in here. Ooh. Got them weak legs going on. Cool. So there's little statues. And I was wrong. One's a dragon. Looks like one's a lion. And there it is. The Acropolis Hill. So tells you everything that's in there. I mean, like I said, no need for a guide. While I will say that I highly enjoyed my guide time in Sintra with Sophie, that was pretty nice. Um, Sophia, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to get your name wrong, girl. But heading down the slopes here, I'm gonna try to take a little peek at this Theater of Dionysus. Theater of Dionysus, coming at you. Let's check it out. Try to get down there and get a better vantage point, but take a cursory glance now. Cool. Theater of Dionysus. I mean, see the seating? And all that is marble. Just imagine going to a show there. A little stage there. Put on a play. Beautiful. And like I mentioned, Dionysus isn't only my Airbnb host. <laughs> Shout out to you, my man. It is also a god in the Greek mythology, so pretty cool. Ah, to go back in time to a show. What a spectacle it would have been. As I mentioned, that incline coming up. No joke. No joke. Beautiful. 
beautiful scenery, landscaping, flora. My goodness. Continuing on down the Acropolis. Get a little side vantage point of this here Theater of Dionysus down here. Seen a few kitties around here drinking out of the pools. We had a nice little unsurprising rainstorm this morning. Nothing on the weather guide, but we saw it. I'm just come right down here, get a little side vantage of this theater. Damn you, scaffolding. These are different little marble monoliths with inscriptions. I mean, wow. Cool. Teddy pillows. What are you doing? Here we have the Sanctuary of Asepios. Just so ancient. What a sight. As you can see with all the sunshine, it has warmed up a little bit here today in Greece. We're looking at about 66 and I mean it's a it's a muggy 66 not too bad at all uh, Heather said back home it was 24 degrees yesterday <laughs> crazy just more we're almost wrapping this Acropolis one up I think that we've seen enough historical sites here for one day so we're gonna make our way down and close it out um, appreciate you guys joining me here on this historic little venture through Greece. Um, amazing time. Thanks guys. All right. And here it is. Our Greece kitty time. Hey little bud. You a good boy? Hey little buddy. Hey bud. Oh yes. And there he is. Beautiful little Greece kitty. Having my kitty time. Just good little friend. Napping in the sun. <laughs> And it looks like I stand corrected, as this is the Theater of Dionysus. Not sure what the other one was, we'll have to look that up, and get a little confirmation on that. Interesting. As you can see, stadium level seating had your name on it. <laughs> so, you know, somebody sitting in your chair, you go, hey, that's my seat. Prove it right there. Greek writing's on the wall. <laughs> cool. Coming up on one of the last remaining statues here on the complex. His arm's gone. Crazy. So much history. Cool. Bucket list item completed. So that was the Acropolis here, ladies and gentlemen. Parthenon, I mean, what a spectacular site. Like I said, renovations are going on for the past 40 years and possibly for the next 400 years to keep it standing. Just glorious sights here at the Acropolis. So I'm gonna go on ahead and call that one here. I mean, that was a very nice little look in the history of Greece. I hope everybody enjoyed it as much as me. And I'm gonna go down here now, um, take a little break and possibly start back up with another fresh vlog. Um, tonight we're gonna be having our traditional Greek restaurant meal and mm, Looking forward to that one very much. So guys, you know the deal till the next one. Take it easy and peace from the Acropolis